welcome back to Tasteful Escape. My name is Rose and today I'm here in Yorba Linda, California at a restaurant called Monarch 9. Are from the part of Vietnamese Vietnam that is uh, very um, they're greatly influenced by the French and so they incorporate all those recipes into their cooking um, today I'm having the filet mignon um, pho and it's so good guys I did not have to add much to the pho because it just tastes so good it's so flavorful it leaves a lot of herbs and they make everything from scratch including their curry So to the pho, I normally add a lot of extra ingredients um, like the basil, like the jalapeno, fresh jalapeno, um, which I did add. I love both of those ingredients. And I also added a tablespoon of the, the pepper the pepper and the oil flakes, the, the soup, to make it spicy because that's how I like it. And um, it was just so flavorful. And it was spicy, just how I like it. Um, it was just on point, guys. It's so good. I highly recommend it. Um, I also had the uh, popcorn chicken, which is lightly battered. It's so good and crispy and so moist in the center, just like, like it should be. And every time I go to a Vietnamese restaurant, I have to have um, the spring roll. So their spring rolls um, are packed with a basil. You have the, the shrimp there and then you can see the pork in the back and it's just so good with that peanut sauce dipping dip that into that peanut sauce guys and um, to wash it all down i do have a lychee mojito mumbles done with it guys it's just so good it's so refreshing a lot of um a mint and then you have chunks of lychee there and they give you like a a big straw and to suck suck up all that lychee fruit so refreshing if you're ever in the area and that you're Belinda come by and check it out you won't be disappointed all right so I couldn't leave this restaurant without some Vietnamese coffee of course and to go with that um, some pastries so, you know, I won't be sleeping tonight, guys. Oh my god. So good. This coffee is like, I'll probably be awake for a whole week. 